So on the Solaris side, Stanislav Lem, uh, this kind of idea of there being intelligences out there that are different than our own, do you think there are intelligences maybe all around us that we're not able to even detect? So this kind of idea of, uh, maybe you can comment also on uh, Stephen Wolfram, thinking that there's computations all around us and we're just not smart enough to kind of detect their their intelligence or appreciate their intelligence. Yeah, so my friend Hugo de Garris, who I've been talking to about these things for, for, for many decades, since the early 90s, he had an idea he called SIPI, the Search for Intraparticulate Intelligence. <laughs> so the concept there was, as AIs get smarter and smarter and smarter, you know, assuming the laws of physics as we know them now are still are still what these super intelligences perceive to hold and are bound by, as they get smarter and smarter, they're going to shrink themselves littler and littler because special relativity make, makes it you know, slow to c communicate between two spatially distant points. So they're going to get smaller and smaller, but then ultimately, what does that mean? The minds of the super, super, super intelligences, they're going to be packed into the, the interaction of, of elementary particles or, or quarks or the partons inside quarks or whatever it is. So what we perceive as random fluctuations on the quantum or sub-quantum level may actually be the thoughts of the micro, micro, micro miniaturized super intelligences. Because there's no way we can tell random from structured, but with an algorithmic information more complex than our brains, right? We can't tell the difference. So what we think is random could be the thought processes of some really tiny super minds. And if so, there's not a damn thing we can do about it, except you know, try to upgrade our intelligences and expand our minds so that we can we can perceive more of what's around us. But if the if those random fluctuations, like if, even if we go to like quantum mechanics, if that if that's actually uh, super intelligent systems, aren't we then part of the soup of super intelligence? So we're, aren't we just like like a finger <laughs> of the entirety of the body of the super intelligent system? It could be. I mean, a, a finger is a is a strange metaphor. I mean, we we we, we, well, we <laughs> a finger is dumb, is what I mean. Is uh, is but, but a finger is also useful and is controlled right. with with intent by by the brain. Whereas we may be much less than that, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, we may be just some random epiphenomenon that that they don't care about too much. Like th think about the the shape of the crowd emanating from a sports stadium or something, right? There, right. there's some emergent shape to the crowd. It's there. You could take a picture of it. It's kind of cool. It's irrelevant to the main point of the sports event or where the people are going or, 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 or what's on the minds of the people making that shape in the crowd, right? So we, we may just be some semi-arbitrary, higher-level pattern popping out of, of a lower-level, hyper-intelligent self-organization. And I mean... So so be it, right? I mean, that, that's one thing that... Still a fun ride. Yeah, I mean, the older I've gotten, the more respect I've achieved for our fundamental ignorance. I mean, my, mine and, and everybody else's. I mean, I look at my my two dogs, two beautiful little toy poodles, and, you know, they watch me sitting at the computer typing. They just think I'm sitting there wiggling my fingers to exercise them, maybe, or, or guarding the monitor on the desk. That They have no idea that I'm communicating with other people halfway around the world, let, let alone, you know, creating complex algorithms running in, in RAM on some computer server in St. Petersburg or something, right? That although they're right there, they're right there in the room with me. So what things are there right around us that we're just too stupid or closed minded to comprehend? Well, probably you're, probably quite a lot. Your very your very poodle could be uh could also be communicating across multiple dimensions with with other with other beings and you're too you're too unintelligent to understand the kind of communication mechanism they're going through. There, there, there have been various uh, TV shows and science fiction novels positing cats, dolphins, uh, mice, and whatnot are actually super intelligences. Here, here to observe that, I, w I would, I would guess, as one or the other quantum physics founders said, those theories are not crazy enough to be true. The, the reality is probably <laughs> crazier than that. Beautifully put.